Okay, this is part one for graphing uh, rational polynomial functions. In order to graph polynomial functions, we need to know a bunch of different information. Some information would be like the x-intercept, which we also know is our zeros. We find these by setting y equal to zero. So that's one thing we need to know. Second thing we could find is our y-intercepts. And we do that by setting x equal to zero. So you want to record, write all these down, and we're going to be working with each of these. Our third step that we look for, especially with rational polynomial functions, is our denominator restrictions. Remember, our denominator cannot equal zero. So we want to find those things that will make our denom those numbers that will make our denominator zero. At this point, whether the restrictions occur, that is where we have what's called vertical asymptotes. And we'll talk more about what these are when we're doing the graphing part. Finally, we need to find out if there are any horizontal asymptotes. Now, horizontal asymptotes so uh, occur by looking at the highest degree in the numerator and the denominator. So our fourth thing to check for is horizontal asymptotes. And a fifth thing is to see if there have any what's called holes. Holes occur when a term in the numerator cancels with a term in the denominator. Now this is a lot of information and so we're only going to we're going to take this one step at a time. Okay? So let's first talk about holes. Looking at this polynomial expression, f of x equals x minus 1 divided by x squared plus 2x minus 3, the first thing we always have to do is factor. So we're going to factor our denominator. x, x plus minus 3 and 1. The two numbers multiply, give you 3. When you subtract them, you get 2. Now, if we notice here, there are two numbers that would make our denominator 0. Negative 3 and 1. However, for the quantity x minus 1, we can cancel. Leaving us with 1 over x plus 3. Where these denominators cancel is where the graph of the function has what is called a hole. There is a hole at x equals 1 because it makes the denominator 0, but since we can cancel it out, there's only a hole, and on either side of it, the function will still work. The other place this graph has a problem is when x is equal to negative 3. At negative 3, we will have an asymptote. An asymptote is a vertical line, like an imaginary vertical line on a graph that the graph cannot cross. I'm sorry, it's a vertical line on the coordinate plane that a graph cannot cross. So remember these two things. 
We can find holes by terms that cancel. And we find asymptotes that are the values where the denominator is 0. So x equals negative 3 and x equals 1 would both make our denominator 0. But since we can cancel the quantity x minus 1, there's a hole there. We can cancel the quantity x plus 3, so there's an asymptote. So we will continue with using this information in the next part. Okay, we need some more information before we can graph these. So our next thing we're going to look at, we talked about holes, we talked about vertical asymptotes, now we're going to talk about horizontal asymptotes. This, the way you find a horizontal asymptote is to look like at the degree of the numerator and the degree of the nom denominator. So I'm going to give you three examples. One, the degree of the numerator is going to be less than the degree of the denominator. In our second example, the degree of the numerator will be the same as our degree of the denominator. And in our third example, the degree of the numerator will be greater than the degree of our denominator. The degree, if you remember correctly, is the value of the um, highest exponent, or the, uh, the term with the highest exponent. So notice I'm circling the degree measures here. We don't have one, and one is understood to be here, just like it is to be here. So let's look at these. In this case, the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. This means that there is a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. So that's our first example. Our second example, the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of our denominator. If that's the case, then our horizontal asymptote is at Um, sorry, the coefficients, the ratio of the coefficients. Or the leading coefficients. In this case, the leading coefficient is 3, and this one is 4, so we would have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 3 fourths. Finally, we get our third example here where the degree of our numerator is greater than our degree of our denominator. And in this case, there is no horizontal asymptote. 